What's going on guys? It's Nolan from Neurotic RC. Today we're going to talk about these amazing Kyosho Mini Z drift cars. We're going to talk about their chassis, bodies, and upgrade parts, and if you should really buy Kyosho Mini Z and how to make your own track. This will be a great video for beginners or even people who've had Mini Z drift cars, but don't know everything about them. So this will be a great overview video to anybody that's new. So one of the things that make these Kyosho Mini Z so special is front chassis and the chassis lengths and how the chassis are designed. These chassis are very, very specific for drifting and they, they're very good design. They are really a user-friendly platform if you want to get into Mini Z drifting. And there are three different chassis lengths. This Subaru STI is a 90 millimeter chassis wheelbase length. From front to rear, the wheelbase is 90 millimeters long. And what that changes, it changes everything on how the car handles and steers and drives. The different feeling with the 90 millimeter chassis compared to this Dodge Hellcat that's a 98 millimeter long wheelbase. The difference is the 90 millimeter wheelbase is it's a lot more sensitive and you really have to be very controlled and smooth when you're drifting it it's not easy to drift with this chassis i i drift a little bit better with the 98 millimeter chassis because it's not as sensitive but it's totally doable once you practice a decent amount you will get good really good at it and you can realistically drift better on this 90 millimeter chassis instead of the 98. What I've noticed compared to the Dodge Hellcat since it's a 98 millimeter chassis, it takes a lot wider drifts and it, it's not as tight as a 90 millimeter chassis. This 90 millimeter chassis, you can drift a lot tighter. You can also drift wider, but it's a little trickier compared to this. This one naturally wants to drift tighter. So this Nissan GTR is a 94 millimeter chassis. Three chassis lengths, 90, 94, and 98. The 94, it's still sensitive, but if you're learning and you want to have a happy medium, get the 94 millimeter chassis. And you can look up online which chassis length it is on Kyosho's website. And these chassis are also adjustable. With the 90 and 94 millimeter wheelbase, you can adjust them from 90 to 94 out of the box. Unlike 98, there are a couple pieces that you have to order to adjust so you can make it to a 90 or 94 millimeter wheelbase long. They do come with different gears, so you'll have to swap your gears because it'll be a little bit longer, so you need to change your gear ratio. That comes with the Mini Zs straight out of the box. But one downside, if you change your 90 millimeter chassis to the 94, the 90 millimeter wheelbase will not fit with this body. Then you'll have to get a 94 millimeter wheelbase body. One of the things with these is the controllability. The motors on these guys are amazing. They're just standard little motors, but the way they handle and how responsive they are, it's really surprising. They almost seem like a brushless motor, but they're brushed. They are very controlled and smooth. You can really be smooth with the throttle. They're really high-end motors that Kyosho puts in these things. You can buy different steering knuckles and steering arms to change your toe and camber. Same with the rear. One of the mandatory upgrades that we would recommend is getting softer springs in the front. It will help you initiate that drift and stiffer springs in the rear. It'll keep it more planted and will act a little bit more of a rear wheel drive drift car. Another upgrade we would recommend that's totally free. You got a video on this channel. Go check it out. I'll link it in the comments and pin it up there. Is a locked differential for the rear. So you you only want to lock differential in the rear then you can buy a front one-way differential so with those paired the locked rear and the front one way when you press the brakes on your controller it will lock up the rear brakes but the front wheels will keep spinning it won't give it power but they will keep rolling as the rear brakes will lock up and then they'll act as an e-brake so you can initiate and you can control your drifts a lot better is that these drift on you can kind of drift on tile but it's kind of iffy it, it's possible so if you have a tile in your house you can do it it's not easy and hardwood floors are obviously great 
but they they are slippery so you can really spin out easy with the hardwood floor <laughs> But if you have thin office carpet, uh, very thin, not very tall, and it's not too rough but smooth, that's the best surface to drift on. little track and we went to Home Depot and we got a big roll of office carpet and it's not very tall normal surface it was actually we thought it was a little too grippy on it so we flipped it over and did the backside and we drift on the backside now it drift great the way we made our track we got quarter inch thick rope and hot glue for a couple days we just laid out some tape and rope and we just taped some of the rope down to have a concept of how we want the track after we figured out how we wanted to lay out tape, remove some of that tape then hot glue then we would go all the way down remove the tape and hot glue to where then it was a full-on track downsides do use four AAA batteries really the only downside we invested a little bit of money to get some rechargeable triple a's it works great now we don't have the kyosho official rechargeable triple a's kyosho does offer their own triple a's that you can order if you just got some standard triple a's you got about 20 minutes of drive time of like hard drifting so if you just cruised you might get some you might get it longer we got some other nicer batteries that have a lot more capacity we can get up to 30 to 40 minutes. We can just recharge them within a couple hours. When you get these, you have to invest in AAAs. Otherwise, you're going to spend twice as much on AAAs than you did on the cars. There's a lot of things you can do with these. They have a lot of things that they offer. Out of the box, they are expensive. They are, I'm not going to lie. Once you dig into these and really drive them, you will understand, like, wow. Like, after a week, we drove these. We're like, now we see why these are so expensive. Like, they are so well designed and put together and everything with them. You will see why they're so expensive. And these are one of our favorite RC cars now. We have a bunch of 118 little rock crawlers and 110 monster trucks and 110th drift cars and we like these a lot uh we live in colorado and we have a lot of snow and rain a lot we can drift these anytime just in the living room and we can have a blast thanks to you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video it i hope it was helpful for everybody see you guys next time